Hello, welcome to another video, and we're in London. More specifically, Bloomsbury Lane is the home of Ray's Pizza, which is the home of London's biggest pizza. I'm joined by Ben, and today, not for the first time, Ben is gonna tackle a 26 inch. Yes, and also to have London's biggest pizza. I've seen Beard Meets Food eat this, but it took him like 20 minutes, so I feel like it's not to be toyed with. Would you toy with? Toy You're pizza. You shouldn't, You're play, an with, absolute shouldn't play with your food. Point is, it's a big pizza. I'm going to be filming all day. It's cold, Let's go inside and see what's going on. Yes, mate, we are ready. Um, and without of interest, what would you recommend? If you were going to eat a 26 inch pizza, what would you... Uh, six is, uh, it's time of life for six people to eat it. Six people? Yeah, it's <laughs> The guy saying that it's for six people. <laughs> so, do you think, do you think we'll you be able to eat it? Yeah, do it. For me, Easy. Uh, eating. You said six people. Yeah, but for me, how do I eat them for myself? Yeah, no, I said it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, all right, can we please get a 26 inch, uh, yeah. say a gusti, please? Oh, yeah. nice accent. Get it out of the stairs. And then, uh, can I just get a Coke Zero, please? Like, well, it's okay. Trying to keep that calorie down, you know, yeah. on the diet. Yeah, yeah, Thank you very much. Nice. Pizza for six people, mate. Yeah, Perfect. that's a bold statement. I like how you said that, then immediately was like, but I hope that I can eat <laughs> Thank you very much. Absolutely ideal. And by ideal, I mean the biggest picture I've ever seen. Is that some kind of sick joke? What? <laughs> <laughs> just about 25 litres of Coke. Unless you open like six bottles of Coke and just pour them in. If that has any gain yeah, of the pizza yeah, size, yeah, we're in trouble. Get the icing. There we go. Get the icing. <laughs> That's what I want. Hey, have you washed that finger since earlier today? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? I don't want to fall your ice cubes in it. <laughs> Absolute creep. I'm actually really hungry now. I think we're smash through this. Jesus Christ. I don't know if you can appreciate that through the lens, but like, <laughs> that is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> what is that, mate? Like, who even has an oven big enough to accommodate that? That's ridiculous. Let me just show you like one slice. <laughs> one slice is like a pizza. Uh, before this came out, I was relatively confident. But what are you saying? I'm not sure. I think we all have a solid oven. So I want to know, is it good? Like, it must be hard. To, I feel like the bigger a pizza gets, the harder it is to make it nice, right? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I think it's really good. There's a nice pizza in it. It's a nice, massive pizza. It's actually sick to be fair. So we've got salami, essentially bacon and chicken. Like a 8 out of 10 pizza, you saying? Yeah, at least. It's pretty good. I'm going to do it like a calorie calculation. Okay, so supposedly this cal this pizza, 8,200 calories. That's like a week of food for the average person. You play bulking to be fair. Right? You bulking? Not sort of. A little bit. To make this video less weird, like just <laughs> not a friggin' mukbang, we're gonna ask some questions. I put a thing on my story, ask questions, got loads, thank you very much. Luke underscore GC, 1996. If you had to fight to the death, who's winning? So Ben genuinely thinks it will be him. Absolutely no chance. You cannot handle my raw I've power. seen Matt fight. I, I, mean, I know I would. I mean, you literally haven't though. That's true, he, he was hiding actually. The last fight we were involved in, Matt was hiding, throwing up over a wall. So that's all I'll say. Any response to that? Guilty silence. I'm high on that. I just don't think we to handle my raw, animalistic you look like you're about to roll sexuality. Power. <laughs> <laughs> so in summary, me. <laughs> and Elliot, our other brother would win. That's who would win. My way, we're like almost halfway. Yeah. So far, I still feel hungry. 
To be fair, we haven't eaten much today, right? We've like prepared well for this. We've been filming another video today that's gonna go on next week. One of the best videos we've ever made. But the fallout is we've not eaten for the entire day. Mm -hmm. Ideal prep for eating London. The other fallout pizza. was Matt getting detained by the police, so swings around there. Also true. 18C.00? Yeah. Cyborg. Opinion on Andrew Tate? Okay, so the first thing I'll say about that, yeah, is that I strongly believe that the people's perception of Andrew Tate, so what people see of Andrew Tate, I think a lot of that is an act. Definitely is a bit of a dick, but like, Matt's I think- Matt's a big Andrew Tate fan. Matt's a big not. Andrew Tate apologist. I think that he <laughs> puts it on enormously, do you know what I mean? I don't think his beliefs, as ridiculous as they are, I think a lot of those are hugely exaggerated, do you know what I mean? So he definitely is a misogynist, but I don't think to the extent that he makes it out, do you know what I mean? Yeah, well do you think to some degree that the nature of social media and how like virality works, like feeds into the new modern social media presence where someone is almost a caricature of themselves and their own yeah, yeah. beliefs in so, order to get like yeah that, yeah that so, so again don't get me wrong he's an absolute dick but he smashed it in the sense that do you know what I mean he's deliberately fed into that he knows it's provocative he knows people are talking about it and like it's worked like he's absolutely blown up even if he's put on he doesn't believe that i still think there's obviously enormous negative consequences to him some of the being allowed to have a platform is mental right like yeah, 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 ridiculously yeah, yeah. like i think he does just, remind like, me a lot of like, uh, he doesn't remind dad, me a lot. He reminds me a lot of dad, actually. Like yeah, dad yeah. Is a lot like yeah, yeah. Our dad is a kickboxer, so this is getting slightly harder. Now. <laughs> what are you doing? Cows what are you doing? only. Well, I can't look sloppy, man. I can't have no choice. Oh, what is that? Why did you vandalize that pizza? Cheese. <laughs> Nye Oakley. Who do you believe has the better body between the two of you? I mean, right now, definitely, like, my, like, my upper body is, like, moderately comparable. I'd still say you've definitely got a better upper body. Our legs, comparing our legs, literally like comparing someone that's never trained before with, like, a, like a, do you know what I mean? Like, my legs... So, the parrot, you're saying I have better legs? Yeah. I think it's at a point where our physiques are now... I think it's subjective. Obviously, like, you know, a couple of years ago, I'd say definitely me, but now I'd say that it's... Put like personal not opinion. Not yet, not yet. See, what do you not think? Yet. What do you think? You see what I mean? I, I mean, so he's having to think about you it. You pay him, you pay his bills, mate. No, no, be, be completely honest. Like, you can say in bed, I'm interested. I, I think you give yourself a lot of slack because you say whenever you take photos, you prefer like your front thing, you feel the strongest in the front. <laughs> I think Come if you, on, if you, I think if you both way. decided to get down to like 7% body fat at the same time, yeah. then you'd have your definitive answer. But right now, what are you saying? Are you saying I'm fat? Is that what you're... Matt and Ben, who has the best league right now? From what I've seen recently, Ben. <laughs> what? You, is that you know what I mean? But you've also been off training for like a month and a half, whatever it is. Basically, Matt, you need to sort yourself out. You need to pull yourself out. Meanwhile, out. Ben has all the time in the world. He's done nothing to help the brand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it's been absolutely... No stress. <laughs> this is a slice that breaches the halfway mark. Damn, now. boy. This is a momentous occasion. In it. I feel like the pizza's getting sloppier. I feel like it was easier probably, to eat at the is. start. Well, that actually, the Papa harder. John's one got harder. That was, that was the worst. Normally, thing it gets harder when you. The oh. more you eat it, the harder it gets. That's what. <laughs> That's disgusting. That's That's sick. Sick. <laughs> okay, all right. Cameron Grewal, Cameron Grill, has Greg Doucette apologised to you yet? No, he hasn't. I don't expect him to make like a, a video apology, but like a DM would be nice, you know what I mean? Because he called me out in a big way. Yeah. And I've literally conclusively put the drug thing to bed now. Like that's irrefutable. So it would be nice just a DM being like, you know, sorry, the, that, that would be enough. The thing that's like infuriating though is on the one hand, people all have the perspective now that in order to be a certain size, you have to be taking something, right? And that's the purveying general held view. But if someone comes out and proves scientifically the opposite to be the case, that you can be big and have abs and, and not be taking drugs, surely that's something people would be like celebrating or be like, that's really good news. And instead it's like the opposite. For a young person getting into physique and bodybuilding, it's good to have people to look at and say, right, I don't need drugs to look like that. I can be a healthy person that's not gonna ruin my life or do whatever. Like instead you can just be a regular, I feel I like can it's eat a 26 bizarre. inch pizza, mate, and it'll still be shredded. Yeah, and like just have a normal, like, I feel like Greg's like upset by the fact you don't take bodybuilding as seriously as he does. I think that genuinely upsets him. I'm sorry, no, that slice is the one that's like. Yeah, I know what you mean, I've slowed down. I was cruising, <laughs> enjoying like life. Point. This has now changed it. It's now gone from an enjoyable oh, meal to. So liquidy as well. Get away from it, to a hell? pizza challenge. What? Oh no. Just over a third uh, to go. What are you doing? It's full of liquid. 
Look at this thing. Stop waggling it around, mate. What are you doing? <laughs> it's out of control. What am I meant to do? Put it in it? your mouth, mate. Eat it. <laughs> he has some really good audio in front of this. <laughs> By the way, in case you hadn't gathered, there's a bowling alley. Like, this is literally yeah, a bowling alley. it's pretty alley. surreal. And it's made eye contact with bowlers over here. <laughs> Mad how quickly that's happened. That's like it was that block. You do like a set of ten, and like you get to like the eighth rep, and it's like mm. flying up. And then suddenly that ninth rep, you just in the space of one rep, you can't lift it anymore. That's what's happened here. GT Wino. When is Blue Water WH Smiths getting some energy drinks? Okay, so more to your energy. It's in. It's on the on the website. It's in WH Smiths. Now WH Smiths, they choose where they stock it. So if you are trying to find more to your energy in your local store and they haven't got it, just drop them a DM on Instagram. We'll put the thingy, the Instagram handle here. DM them and just tell them to stock it in your store. They can do it. They could do it in a week. They choose where it goes. Go so, hassle them in real life as well. Yeah, but like just drop them a DM if you want them to stock it. Ask them to stock it. Tell them you're going to buy it. And and they'll do it. Simple as that. What are you doing? I'm making a pizza. <laughs> the problem here with the fold is that this is a much narrower slice of pizza. <laughs> oh, this is just messy. It's really messy. Well, I mean, that's really off putting. <laughs> what, can you not do that again, please? <laughs> Absolute goblin next to me, just snuffling pizza, <laughs> rubbing pizza all over his face. <laughs> Also, the kitchen, the chefs are literally like there. I mean, it is good, but like, I don't want to shout negative pizza comments. Comments. One of them in particular looks quite angry. Archie underscore Tyndall. Who wins the arm wrestles? Okay, so, last time I arm wrestled, Ben won. I mean, I've only arm wrestled about twice since, but I think I know how to arm wrestle better now. I did back in buys yesterday as well. <laughs> that's a sign that he feels a threat. The fact that Matt, the fact that Matt right doesn't now. understand that that's relevant. Let's go right fantastic. now. Three. You ready? Three, two, one, go. Get the camera! Get the camera! Oh my Jeez, God. Yes. Okay, wait now. Do it. Do it. <laughs> I, I gave up for a while. I am also, uh, yeah. Three. Two, one, go. <laughs> oh my god. Easy. I'm in here. Sorry, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> to be fair, Ben is good at arm wrestling. I'm pretty sure Ben actually started an arm wrestling club. Is that, <laughs> is that true, isn't it? Sort of, yeah, in a way. Doing sort of. What would you describe as an arm wrestling club? No, I'd ben like ran an, an arm wrestling club. So in a way, <laughs> I, well, I, come, I just came runner up to someone who runs an arm wrestling club. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> pretty also, we did one session and I injured both my forearms and had to stop. So, I mean, that's the main issue of arm wrestling is the it's hard to bodybuild and arm wrestle, like in my opinion, because of the... If it's very unilateral, you're training, you're literally doing it all on one arm. Yeah, well, not, no, no, you don't have to. Like, that's like a recent development in arm wrestling. Also, Devin Larratt, for example, has was like the world champion left arm and right arm at the same time, you know? On a positive, that's distracting me from the... Yeah, I know what you mean, the blood's bit. gone away from our stomachs. Yeah. Like I feel a little bit less sick now. <laughs> Ooh, okay, slice each and we're done. Yeah. Let's ignore those. Just yeah, just pretend the crusts aren't over there. <laughs> okay, AI Rick or Air Rick? Air Rick or AI Rick? Air Rick, yeah. One arm. Air Rick. Interesting. Air Rick 1023. What's the weirdest thing you did as kids? So, we've done a lot of weird shit, to be honest. Uh, okay, so straight away, I used to be obsessed with WWE. So, <laughs> as a child, so me, there's like a 10 year age gap between me and Ben. I've got a middle brother who's like four years, three years. He's seven years older than me, so four years younger yeah, than me. Four years younger than me. So we used to like play football and like wrestle together. We used, we would, this is so weird saying out loud. <laughs> At the time it seemed normal. We would regularly strip down to our pants, <laughs> lube ourselves up like in like, lube. In, like water. <laughs> And we'd re like pretend to be, I'd be the rock, he'd be like, you know, Triple H or whatever. Stone and we'd Rock, wrestle. Steve Austin. We'd go for like a good hour. Like, I remember I'm... doing it at a hotel, that sounds weird. I remember wrestling at a hotel <laughs> once. I think mum and dad had gone down for dinner. We were just in the room knocking about. Classic, stripped down to the pants, oiled up. I, I think I like suplexed him through the bathroom door. <laughs> like, oh, I had to try and explain that to the reception people. No. But I mean, you know, the weirdest thing is, 
I don't think I was even that young. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say this is like this is like a few years. This is like I was five, six probably years. Probably no, I wasn't. I was probably a teenager to be fair. So that's quite weird. Teenager. I think it'd be hard. An eighteen. I think it'd be hard to outweigh that. So I've had a few pretty bizarre skiing injuries. I've got like a vague recollection of where, basically it was in the season where the snow wasn't great, and I thought I'd seen what was a shortcut across some gravel. <laughs> which anyone that skied on land would like tell you that's not, a, that's not a good strategy. So I was like, right, if I get enough speed, I'll go straight over the gravel to the other side to the snow. There's like five of us. Get to the bottom of piece. We have to go off piece to get back to the hotel. <laughs> we're skiing. We can see the snow is running out. So we come to a stop here. We've stopped, we're on snow. But in front of us is just concrete, a car park, and then a motorway, right? Out of nowhere, we just hit a pin, come past us at about 100 miles an hour, literally tear past us, he goes through the car park, over like a gravel path, he's a flash, he's going so fast, goes over the edge, like we lose sight of him, you can see like sparks, like yeah, flocks, actual sparks, actual sparks come off the skis, <laughs> just ploughed into a massive net hanging over him. Yeah, time. I like, I was like, I was like pretty blurry, I like, was like, oh, Look down, I was in a net hanging over the motorway, which is right. pretty scary. Genuinely, I think they thought I died. Genuinely thought he was dead, yeah. yeah. We were yeah. like, well, Ben's gone. Like, in it, one man down. The next one, yeah. So that was, yeah, that was pretty weird. He absolutely, on a side note, absolutely, I mean, he came out of it surprisingly unscathed, but he did absolutely Relatively. decimated his goose. Yeah, I almost, like, I almost tore my goose. It was like on his, on your back, I think. Like, oh, I, had like a butt, I had like a butt, like a tear down my butt, like my butt, Why like the butt of my salad, <laughs> my salad pets, of my salad pets, the back rear cheeks were torn, you know. Ben's a uh, loose cannon, so a lot of like skin. Yeah, yeah but I don't have a good sense of, I, I don't know, I oh. make like erratic decisions in the moment, which are regrettable and dangerous. Okay, here we go. This is the home straight. It's really, look at the size of that one. That was covered in pizza. Well, I am very, very cool, I'm not gonna lie, it's rough. I don't think I'm gonna be sick, but like I'm, I could make myself sick immediately right now. You don't be drunk now, you really don't look okay. I gave it an eight out of 10 to start with. It was great, it's so unenjoyable now. I feel like I'm eating my tongue. <laughs> Why have you used about 400 fishes? Oh my god. Some of those what are yours. Some of them are no, they're not. <laughs> they're mine there, man. I've used three tissues. Ben oh. used about 25. <laughs> I've used a lot of tissues. I feel like I literally never want to eat pizza again. Yeah, that was rough. You under For a million pounds, would you eat half of that again now? For a million pounds, I'd try. I wouldn't be able to. I don't think I'd be able to. Well, without being sick, I don't think I'd be able to. I think you underestimate. Because on a normal pizza, you're used to it being like pizza break. Pizza, like, do you know what I mean? But that, it's such a big slice that like there's not the same break, you know? Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why are you standing up? But the first 50% of that was really nice. And then it just like drastically went downhill. From that half into that half. Yeah. That was when it changed. I think if that was between three people, that'd be a nice go to meal, you know? So. What are you saying? What are you saying? Your thoughts? No. Ooh. What do you mean no? <laughs> yeah. What do you mean no? <laughs> <laughs> do it, do it. You make a challenge with me with 500 pounds. I can tell you're impressed. <laughs> yeah. I can tell you're impressed for your yeah. face. Yeah? Would you say that's the most impressive thing you've ever seen? Yeah, I got this for myself, that one. <laughs> you could not eat that for yourself. You yeah. could eat that yourself. Yeah, if you get no chance. You make a challenge. Are you serious? You can yeah, yeah, well, I can make a challenge. Yeah, let's do it. We'll come back. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll come yeah. back. And I want to see that. Okay. 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 okay? Done. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Mate. <laughs> Where is oh. it again? Where's my glass? <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> it's gone, why, why do people take something and not finish? You all love stealing CJ stuff. <laughs> oh, my stomach feels like it is about 15 times the size. That was rough. I feel sick. Yeah, me too. I'll describe my feelings in one word, it would be sick. Sad. Not in a good way. Sad. <laughs> yeah. Sad. I feel happy. I just Downtrodden. Um, okay, conclusions. Miss that was a profit. huge, that was bigger than I thought, like, I didn't think of 26 inches. I don't know why, I don't think I'd be big. That seems normal to me. Mm. Like, that, I, I thought it wasn't going to be that big. That was ridiculous. Yeah, well, I that think, was, I, yeah, I think this, it's the circumference. Oh. Like, what you and under anticipate is a 12 inch pizza, like, oh, that's huge. 26 is not, it's not like, it's not yeah, double yeah. as big, it's, it's yeah, more yeah. like, do you know what I mean? But that's the 
by far the biggest pizza I've ever seen. Yeah, that was rough. But the that most important thing is we did it. Yeah, yeah, we smashed it. We did actually smash it. Too proud of that. I'm very happy. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did enjoy it, that's a bit weird to be honest, but still I'll take it. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Go and follow a bit on Instagram at Ben Don't Morsia. Do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. In fact, no, that's true. I would do that. You don't want to see that shit yet. You don't want to see that. And I will see you tomorrow.